So after you run your comparable search, you find your comparables, you have some active pending sold, or you might have just some active and some pending. It depends on the search that you just ran. After that, you select your comparables. I'm gonna select all of them in this example. Then I go to the report section on the upper right hand corner. Open the CMA folder, then click on CMA summary. The CMA summary separate the status into different sections. But maybe you don't want your CMA summary look like this with the MLS number. Maybe you want the address on the left hand side. Since the CMA summary already separate each uh, status into this different section. So under active, you don't need to show the status again. And under pending, you don't need to show the status pending again. So how do you customize your CMA summary? This is how you do it. So you click on Customize, Field. Now this is the tricky part. You have to customize your CMA summary by status. So right now I'm on the active status. I'm gonna remove the MLS number. So I select this one. I'm gonna remove the status, remove area, and remove the price. Because the CMA summary already gives you the list price on the far right-hand side of your CMA summary. So I'm gonna remove these four. Address I want to keep. Uh, maybe you want to show list date. So upper left-hand corner, you put your cursor inside the search box and type the word list. Choose list date, add it to the right-hand side. Maybe you want to see the lot size. So type the word lot and choose lot size square feet if you want. Add to the right hand side. Maybe you want to show special information showing the, if the listing is a REO or short sale or regular sale. So pick special information, add to the right hand side. You can move these columns up or down to reorganize them. Then you are going to click Save. Now you can see my active status has been customized. Then I need to go back to Customize, Fields. This time I need to change the status from active to pending because I need to customize my pending section. Click on MLS number, status, area, price, remove it. For the pending section, maybe you want to show the list date. So I'll choose list date, add to the right hand side. And you may want to see the off market date because it's pending section. Choose off market, add to the right hand side. Maybe you want to show the lot size as well in the pending section. You choose lot size. Same thing about special information. Click on that, add to the right hand side. You can also move the, the columns up and down or just by clicking and dragging. You don't have to use these two buttons. Then I click Save. Now the active section has been customized. The pending section has been customized. Now I'm gonna go back to Customize, Fields, and change the status from active to sold, and do the same thing. Remove MLS number, status, area, price. On the sold status, maybe you want to see the closing date. So check closing date, at, and maybe you want to see what type of financing those properties are sold. So the field is called how 
sold. So you have to search for it. That's the type of financing. Select that, add, click save. Now take a look at the sold section. How sold is showing the type of financing. The bottom line is anything on the right hand side of square feet, you cannot customize. But anything on the left hand side of square feet, you can select what information or what columns to show up. And you can actually customize up to 12 columns. But I do not recommend you add 12 columns on your spreadsheet. Otherwise, it will be too long for your, for your um, user to look at. But this is how you customize your CMA summary. You have to customize each section one at a time. And this is how you do it.